All right, what is going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? The ACMJS Gamer here. Today we are here to talk about God of War. Yes, um, it has finally been released that it will come out November 9th later this year, and uh, literally just a month <clears throat> after that, we will have the uh, Callisto Protocol will come out in uh, December, I believe. Um, so very exciting, very exciting that those two are coming out back to back, that we'll have some more stuff to play besides uh, Call of Duty um, or Gotham Knights, which comes, those both come out in October. But um, here we have Kratos and Atreus fight to survive against mounting dangers in the brand new God of War Father and Son CG trailer. It's officially coming. Um, they say we're thrilled to be able to share our release date in the brand new God of War Ragnarok Father and Son CG trailer. With all the God of War fans who have been eagerly awaiting news, we hope you've enjoyed a glimpse at some of the dangers Kratos and Atreus could find themselves up against as Ragnarok approaches. So we're going to watch this little video here and then we'll move on to the different editions of the game that were just released as well. Oh! When you are at your weakest, <laughs> in oh fear and doubt are a burden too heavy to bear. Remember this. You are not alone. Oh, shit. So, that was probably one of the... Well, I don't know. I was going to say one of the sons of Loki, but that's, that's who Atreus is. So, we'll see how that pans out. Anyways, so God of War... Uh, collector's edition unboxing we're not going to watch this beginning video um, that's right here we'll watch this at the end we're just not going to watch it at the moment uh, let's say the winds of Fimble winter have begun already and the have begun the blow and Ragnarok is coming on November 9th uh, before pre-orders for God of War Ragnarok open on July 15th um, we'll take you through all the editions of the game as well as the launch edition items this is very interesting because usually you have to go to multiple different websites to figure out um, what the prices are and what everything is. Now, I do not believe the prices are listed here, but given PlayStation's, um, what, given their history, what they've done in the past, I, I'm going to predict what all of the editions will be. Um, but they say unboxing God of War collectors editions and Jotner editions. Ryan Hurst, the motion capture and voice actor of Thor, and Santa Monica Studio art director Raphael Gassetti are here to take you on a tour of the God of War Collectors and Jotner Editions. Uh, for an in-depth look at each of the items and some of the background behind the creation, check out the unboxing video below, which, like I said, we'll check out at the end of the video because it's going to cover what we're um, looking at. So we have the launch edition items, um, which, if you can't see, it says uh, Kratos, Risen Snow Armor, and then Artreus has the same thing. So I'm assuming, yeah, this is the pre-order edition. It says down here, when you purchase God of War Ragnarok before launch, you will receive the Kratos, Risen Snow Armor. Same thing for Atreus. Um, and then it says God of War Ragnarok launch edition, collector's edition, and unit edition include a voucher code to redeem select God of War Ragnarok digital bonuses. Account for PlayStation Network and internet connection required for code redemption. Unlock in-game items via story progression. So this is <clears throat> essentially the... I think I guess games... Actually, now that I think about it... I guess games... The base game is going to be $75. And if you pre-order, that's what you get here. Um, and then we have the standard edition... Um, the full game for either PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, if you purchase God of War Standard Edition for PS4, you can upgrade to the PS5 version for $10 USD or currency equivalent. Then we have the Deluxe Edition, um, which if the base is 75, uh, or standard is 75, I'm assuming the Digital Deluxe will be probably about $90. Um, and as you can see here, uh, you get these little pins. It's a uh, full game for PS4, PS5. You get an avatar set, a PlayStation theme um, for the PlayStation 4 official God of War Ragnarok digital soundtrack. You get the, it says down here, um, you get the game, you get Dark Dale armor, uh, which is cosmetic. 
for Atreus, but for Kratos it's actual armor. You get handles, axe grip for the axe and the blades of chaos. You get the official God of War digital soundtrack. Yep, uh, Dark Horse digital mini art book and Avatar set PlayStation 4's theme. So that's kind of what it looks like there. Um, I believe, yeah, this is the little digital art book. This is supposed to be the full game, the skins and everything, and then the little pins. So we have the digital edition, which I believe will be uh, probably $80. Um, we have the base game, which is $75. And then we have the collector's edition here, which um, includes a printed voucher code for the full game on... Wait, printed voucher code for the full God of War Ragnarok game on PS4 and PS5. Um, so that means it's a digital code, a steelbook display case, no game disc included, uh, God of War Ragnarok steelbook display case depicts renditions of a bear and the wolf, and I believe, yeah, that's this right here, uh, two veneer twin carvings, which are these things right here, um, in the same style as Atreus's wooden toy carvings on the hunt, sorry, on the Holdred Brothers from God of War, 2018 Collector's Edition, God of War Ragnarok Collector's Edition completes the set with carvings of the Veneer Twins. And you get Dwarven Dice Set, which is this right here. Um, this set comes with a set of dice with a quality of wood-like finish in a dice bag with a symbol of the Yggdrasil on the outside. And then a 16-inch or 16-centimeter, I'm not sure which one, uh, Mjolnir Replica, highly detailed replica of Thor's signature weapon from God of War Ragnarok. Now here, here's the thing. Uh, before we go any further, um, the digital deluxe, like I said, I'm assuming is going to be 80. Standard edition is going to be 75. Same for the launch edition. Um, so the only thing is, for me personally, um, I don't. I mean, it's a cool steelbook case. I don't necessarily want it. Mjolnir sure i would take it depends on how much it is um you know these days with the collector's editions you always run the risk of them getting delivered late um compared to the like digital codes where you can put them in and you can play them on midnight or the night before practically um so with that being said, more than likely I'll probably end up getting the most expensive one I can, which is the Digital Deluxe, without ordering the um, physical copy. Because while that looks cool, I mean, we'll have to look at the video um, to see exactly what we're working with here. Uh, so I said this would probably be 100 to 120... I, I'd say this is probably 100. Um... And then also included with the Collector's Edition are everything from the Digital Deluxe Edition. Now here's the question that I have. For the Digital Deluxe Edition, because it's digital, it comes with a game code, um, I wonder if in the, in the store they'll have just a Deluxe Edition that isn't digital that comes with the steel book. Because if that's the case, that'll be like what they did with Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, if, if that is definitely the case, then I'll probably get the Deluxe Edition. Because I wouldn't mind having the Steelbook. But, I mean, I don't really, you know... It's not that important to me. I probably... If it's the same price, I mean, sure. You know? So moving on, we have the final edition, which is the Jotnar Edition. Um, like I said, this one's probably going to be between 125 and 150. Um, here we have the printed voucher code. Uh, you get a seven inch vinyl record with music by Bear McCreary it includes two tracks from composer. So the vinyl record is this right here. Um, the Falcon, the Bear and the... Sorry, the Falcon, Bear, and Wolf pin set representing Faye, Kratos, and Atreus, respectively. This pin set symbolizes our hero's family, so that's what this is right there. Um, the legendary Draup Draupnir ring, a ring from Norse mythology. Legendary ring comes in a red cloth bag, which is what this is right here. Um, Brock's dice set. Dice set comes with a metallic silver finish with blue detailing. Dice bag features the Holder Brothers brand which is this right here. 
Um, Idrisil cloth map shows each of the nine realms within the branches and roots of Idrisil, which is what the dice bag and the giant Mjolnir is sitting on. Um, Steelbook display case, no game disc included, which is that which we saw previously. Two veneer twin carvings, which is these, and then the giant Mjolnir. And also included is everything in the digital deluxe edition. Um, and then down here they say, We hope you've enjoyed this look into the different editions of God of War Ragnarok that will be available for pre-order starting July 15th, 2022, at 10 a.m. local. Um, launch edition, collector's edition. Yeah, so those are all digital, like I said. Um, I'm not, in, like I said, I'm not entirely sure if that's exactly all of them. If they... If, if the physical in-store copies of these games is just the basic standard edition and then the collector's editions, that would be interesting because I think that'd be the first time that they haven't had a regular deluxe edition with the steel book with the game disc and not have to use a voucher. So now let's look at them unbox the the different stuff here. Well, hello, all you beautiful, amazing people out there. I am Ryan Oh, Hurst. sorry. I play it's Thor like <laughs> in God of War Ragnarok, and I'm here today with Raph, the art director for God of War Ragnarok. All right, so we're doing unboxings today, correct? Yes. Two. We're doing the Collector's Edition and the Jotnar Edition. Yep. So tell me, after working on this thing for so long, what is it like to finally be able to share this with the world? Right. It's amazing to share with the world. I think it's been it's been a long time coming. We yeah. are the fans of our fans, and I cannot wait for people to experience the game. Yeah. I can't wait for you to see what we put together for the fans. Like these, these are amazing. So fans of our fans. I, I love, love the box. Right, so we're going to start with the collector's edition. Right, so yes. tell me about this. Yes, this is the the Knowledge Keeper Shrine. The Knowledge Keeper's Shrine, of yes, course. Yes, we've seen this before in the game, mm -hmm. and we want to make it an experience. So everything about this is, there's secret compartments and everything. Secret oh. compartments, you had me at secrets. All right, so the, I'm guessing that this top comes off. All right, beautiful. So let's start with this. Yes, we can start with Ooh. the Dwarven dice set in the Collector's Edition, little wooden dice. Look at that. They have a heft to them. Look at that. Look at that. Rolls nice. All right, I'm moving on to these. Yeah, those. Figurines here. There's two two inch Vineyard Twins carvings, They're both in the Collector's Edition and the Yodnar Edition. Okay. The second's coming out. All right, and who's this? Last game, Atreus carved the, the, the wooden toys, and this kind of completes the collection. Again, all of these are kind of solid and heavy, too, which yes. is great. All right, and I'm guessing that this is. The steel book. Yes. Ooh. Gorgeous artwork on the front. Take a look at the back. The steel book display case, both in collector yeah. edition and the Jotnar edition. Oh yeah, so that's See, yeah, that wouldn't be worth it story to we, me. We've told before. In addition to these physical items, both the collector's edition and the Jotnar edition come with a voucher code for the loadable content, including the full game for PS4 and PS5, okay. a cradle start deal armor, Darkdale Axe Grip and Darkdale Blades Handles. Okay. Atreus Darkdale Attire Cosmetic, an official God of War Ragnarok digital soundtrack, a Dark Horse Wait, digital mini hold art on. book. How, did, how does that work? If you get the digital deluxe edition, it comes with the steel. No, it doesn't. This is the collector's edition. Okay, never mind. I was saying, more than likely, I'll end up getting. <clears throat> Excuse me, more than likely I'll end up getting the digital deluxe edition is what I plan on doing. The Avatar set and the PlayStation 4 theme. All right, so now we are opening the Knowledge Keeper's Shrine. Ah, yes. uh, it's like the first game. The story. Oh my gosh, beautifully designed, beautiful. And if you find that little hole there, we can... More secret compartments. Ah, <laughs> yes, yes, my old friend. Now tell me who this is. So this is the 16-inch Mjolnir replica. 16-inch. Yes. Both the collector's edition and the Jotnar edition. Right, this is solid. It has weight to it. It's 
got balance to it. The attention to detail is phenomenal. Yeah. My gosh. Yeah, we've seen this on the review trailer, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it looks awesome. Yes, See, it's it like, does. that's cool. And I'm sure there's okay, some people, so hold on. I'm sure there's some people that would really love to have that. But it's like, I would rather have a statue of Atreus and Kratos than, than this. You know, that that's just my opinion. I'd rather have a statue than this actual hammer. Or what they could have done is figure out which is more expensive and they could have put the hammer in either the collector's edition or the Jotner edition and then they could have made a statue and they could have done the opposite like you know like I wouldn't have minded that I don't really you know care for the steelbook it looks cool but it's like I don't have to have it like other previous steelbook games like Hitman that one is awesome the Assassin's Creed one is awesome the Ghost of Tsushima one is awesome. This one, uh, Collector's hello. edition. Now let's look at the Jotnar edition. Yes. <clears throat> so top comes off, I'm guessing. Yes, the Knowledge Keeper's Shrine. Okay. All right, so we have the same figurines. We got the Vanier Twin carvings mm -hmm. and the Steelbook display case. Okay. We've seen those and before. We've seen these. We have both of these in both editions. Yes. And the Steelbook. And similar to the collector's edition, a voucher code for downloadable content will be included, which will have full game PS4 and PS5, mm -hmm. as well as these items. Now, what's different? This is the, the, the Brox okay. dice set. So you get a different dice edition. set. These are different dice. Let's take a look. Yes. Ooh, all right. These are gorgeous. Now, if we pop this open. Okay. Oh, another secret compartment. All right. <laughs> So this is particular to the Jotnar edition. Yes. Yo! This is the Falcon, Bear, and Wolf pin set in the Jotnar edition. Okay, these are heavy. You know, mm -hmm. Representing our See, our that's pretty cool. Like, these are gorgeous. This is the Falcon, right? Yes. Okay. So Falcon represents Faye. Mm -hmm. And we have the bear for, for Kratos. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, the wolf for Atreus. You can kind of tell also like mixing of those materials, mm -hmm. making a really cool set. These are heavy. All right, what's next? Next is the uh, legendary Dropnir ring in the Yodnar edition. Yes, the ring. My favorite part. Yeah. See, that's oh, cool, so. too, the actual oh. ring that you can put on. Ooh. All right. Look at this. Yeah, the Dropnir ring is a, a ring from Norse mythology. Beautiful. All right, next. All right, so we got the Yggdrasil cloth map in the Yodnar edition. Okay. Is it's it the same as the first the game, though? I'm really excited for the fans to explore all the realms and I don't kind know. of see they laid out. On I'd the, have to pause and the, get mine. The little tree. Mm -hmm. Attention to detail. No, it is different. Every piece of artwork. <clears throat> it is different because the, um, the other cloth, the other cloth map from the God of War collector's edition is an actual map. This is different. <clears throat> all the ruins on there. Gorgeous. All right, you get all of this stuff. I want all of this. This is so, this is so dope. All right, so now let's look inside the Knowledge Keeper Shrine. Yes, if we open this again, mm -hmm. on this one there's an extra secret compartment here. An extra secret compartment. The seven inch vinyl record featuring oh. the music by Bear McCurry in the Yodnar edition. Look at this. Amazing soundtrack. Amazing soundtrack, but also beautiful artwork. I love the soundtrack. Me too. I love the okay. soundtrack. All right, so I will do this part. All right, there it is, there it is. Again, has a hefty, hefty weight to it. Solidly balanced, beautiful craftsmanship. That's the six inch Mjolnir replica. Loving it. I can already see this on my mantle and on the mantle <laughs> of very many, many fans. We got all of these things. I want all of them. I'm taking all of them. You can have them. I can have them. He said it. You heard it, folks. <laughs> That's the Jotnar edition. That is the Jotnar edition. Okay, so basically, like I said, that is all the information that we have um, so far. Like I said, I'll probably end up getting the Digital Deluxe Edition. Um, there really isn't anything, like I said, like a statue in either of the Collector's Editions <clears throat> to completely throw me over the top. Um, I will more than likely do an update on this um, on July 15th when pre-orders are live. 
Um, I'll give an update on the pricing to each of the editions, and um, it'll probably be through the PlayStation Store, because if you go, nowadays, if you go to the PlayStation Store library, um, when you go to pre-order stuff, usually you can only get whatever's on their store. So I think it's kind of, it's kind of weird, you can't order collect you can't order physical collectors like merchandise for games from the store you have to go to i think it's playstation direct which handles all of their physical merchandise so we will figure um that out i'll give an update whenever we see those prices um tomorrow which is july uh, 7th ubisoft is giving a special gameplay feature thing, whatever you want to call it, for Skull and Bones. Um, I will be live whenever that becomes live. I'm not exactly sure what time, but hopefully you'll see that I'm live and maybe you'll join me. Um, I'll probably end up making a video out of it anyways if, if I need to make a video, if the live stream doesn't suffice. But uh, thank you guys for watching. That's all I have. I will see you guys in the next video or next live stream, which will be tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.